250 acres of recreational space. This is where one of South Yorkshire's most exciting new leisure developments is currently taking shape. I'm here at the highest point of this huge site and as a very close neighbour I can even see my house from here. I grew up in this area, played as a child on these very fields and attended Wales High School which is just through the trees there. I studied performing arts at Rotherham College which is a short drive in that direction. And in 2012 I landed a role at Gulliver's Kingdom about 25 miles southwest, where I worked for two years as a show presenter and stage host. Now with a young family of my own, we're regular visitors of all Gulliver's theme park resorts at Matlock Bath, Warrington and Milton Keynes. I was delighted therefore when Gulliver's asked me to help introduce to you their biggest and most exciting venture to date. Welcome to Gulliver's Valley Theme Park Resort. Groundworks began in the late summer of 2018, utilities were installed and 1.5 miles of perimeter fencing was added to secure the site. More than 1,000 trees and shrubs have arrived from local Yorkshire nurseries and all of the concrete has been sourced from this nearby plant. Extremely convenient for when it came to laying the base for this huge indoor theme park hub. Its ground size is equivalent to that of 22 tennis courts with more than 8,000 square metres of entertainment space across two levels. I've been trying to get in this massive indoor facility but I'm told it's strictly off limits. Hopefully they'll let me in next time. Steelworks have been sourced and engineered locally to assist with the installation of the first few rides including this fantastic rapid ride. Phase 1 of this 5 phase development will be opening to the public in 2020. By which time these spaces here will be transformed into a wild western world. A colourful toyland, a smuggler's wharf and a lost Jurassic world complete with living breathing, free roaming dinosaurs. From here at the southeast corner the site extends a mile and a half to the northwest and so there's lots more exciting news we'll be bringing you in the coming months. I've been told it takes more than an hour to walk the whole perimeter of this site. Luckily we're not going to do that today though. Before I go I'm going to try one more time to get into that massive indoor facility. See you next time.